the ceramic poppies at the Tower of London drew millions. And the only possible reaction to seeing them and walking among them was silence. For every poppy, a life, and a reminder of the grief of loved ones left behind. No one who fought in that war is still alive, but we remember their sacrifice, and indeed the sacrifice of all those in the armed forces who serve and protect us today. 880,000 poppies pouring like blood out of the Tower of London, filling the moat. The Tower of London, home of the Crown Jewels, center of British power for millennia. Each poppy representing a dead soldier in World War I. This obvious display of gore pulling on all our associations of poppies for the last hundred years and all our conditioning around any sort of war memorial will be silent here. That's right. Respect for the dead. Yeah. But who sent them to die? I mean, the blood's pouring out of the tower. That should give you a clue. And this installation is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the start of the World War. The start of World War I. This is what we're marking with something so significant that it makes it into the Queen's Christmas message, in case you missed it on Remembrance Day. Christmas message glorifying war. Prime Minister of Canada Stephen Harper. Amid all the festivities, please say a prayer of thanks for the brave men and women in uniform who served this Christmas in harm's way, especially those fighting the terrorists of the so-called Islamic State. Obama's message. And to reconnect with the values that bind us together. And as a country, that also means celebrating and honoring those who have served and sacrificed for all of us, our troops, veterans, and their families. We can celebrate the holidays because they're willing to miss their own. So I only looked at the Christmas messages from a few countries, but I reckon the message would be the same from any of the countries in the Commonwealth. What does this have to do with Christ? Christ wasn't exactly a war dude. What is with this ritual? We all just fall in line, you know? She says the only reaction is silence, and most of us will say, I hear you, sister. I definitely, I could not imagine doing anything else there except maybe crying. How do you think we're ever going to get beyond war if we keep celebrating it? Every Christmas, every Remembrance Day, every terrorist event like 9-11. I mean, we keep marking this stuff and there's going to be a war memorial event on every day of the whole fucking year. To what end? I just suggest you ask the question, why are they celebrating and highlighting the start of World War One? Like, just let that, that sink in there. Because it's, it's fucked up.